Hey, what's up guys? Hope everyone out there is doing well. My name is Mike and it's time for us to get into another music reaction. So guys, we got Chelsea Wolf back on the channel. Uh, this one's a little bit different. This is a song called Wee oui, Wee oui, Marie. It's a cover song by a gentleman by the name of Arthur Fields. I just discovered all this information in the last five minutes, but um, this is going to be a song that was from a film, a movie called X, released in 2022, directed by Ty West on uh, A24 uh, Pictures. So. Um, I have seen the movie in theaters. I did also do a reaction on the channel uh, for my friend Lewis who hadn't seen it. Uh, I didn't know. Well, okay, so as soon as I heard Chelsea's voice in, in some of the songs that were played in the movie, I knew it was her. But I didn't know until after I, uh, when I was working on editing the reaction video for the film, that uh, she had something to do with the entire uh, soundtrack. That is really awesome, man. She worked with a guy named uh, Tyler Bates who I discovered uh, has also worked on movies like 300, uh, some of the Halloween movies, Dawn of the Dead, and uh, some of the John Wick movies, and more than that too. That's just a, a couple that I wanted to mention. But um, yeah, she had a, that's really cool that she had a chance to work on an entire soundtrack. I don't know if she's ever got to do that before. So um, I can say that the, the movie had, uh, for a horror movie, you know, the, the music that she created fit the tone of it. And uh, I did hear parts of this song in the movie. I didn't get to hear the whole song. I think it played in uh, two different scenes in the film. So um, I kind of got a taste for it. I'm eager to hear what the whole thing is going to sound like. I've never heard the original either. So uh, Arthur Fields, let's talk about this real quick. So I did a little bit of uh, insight and um, I found this article from music.mxdwn.com. Chelsea Wolf shares eerie cover of Arthur Fields' Wee Wee Marie. Basically, uh, I'm just going to pick some parts out of this. So, uh, Arthur Fields uh, wrote this song about World War I, about a guy who falls in love with a French woman. And if you read the lyrics, it's pretty clear that that's what it's about. Um, and I also discovered that Arthur Fields was a musician who was born in the 1800s, late 1800s. He passed away in the 1950s. So, uh, yeah, I'm not familiar with any of his music. I, I do know that... Um, you know, Chelsea probably transformed this song quite greatly, probably, to her own, you know, unique style. So, and like I said, I've heard a couple peaks of it, but uh, yeah, not enough to say I've heard the song, you know? Um, and I just wanted to show you guys, uh, yeah, here's the poster for the film uh, that this song is from. And again, she worked on the entire soundtrack with uh, Tyler Bates. So, uh, very cool, man. I'd say that movie is worth a watch if you're a fan of horror movies. It's a, it's a slasher movie with um, being more than just a slasher movie. It goes beyond that. But uh, without further ado, guys, I'm eager to check this one out. So, here we go. Chelsea Wolf, Wee Wee Marie. This song plays in two parts of the movie. If I didn't mention that already. talk about this a little bit do a little bit of commentary here um, and then we'll keep rolling on but um, 
this is the way she has the acoustic guitar being just the way that it's engineered in this it's like it doesn't even need a bass guitar it's just so um it's just so meaty and and kind of, i don't know how it's uh I, w I couldn't tell you what you know settings they have it set to but it's just in your face and uh you don't really need a bass guitar after hearing something like that it's just so full sounding um her vocals as always beautiful and haunting um like I said, I don't know if you heard me over the music, but when you hear it in the movie, it, it fits so well, considering what the movie's about, considering it was set in the 70s, uh, kind of in you know rural um, backwoods, Texas. So um, yeah, it fits really well for the film. And it's also, you know, just if I were to just hear the song and not see the movie, also um, signature Chelsea here in this song. You know, the sounds of this, the feelings I'm getting. Um, and the last thing I want to mention before we roll on is there's another, I don't know if she has two versions of this or if there's gonna, it's going to transform greatly, but I remember hearing the song in two scenes and, and they, it, the song sounded almost completely different in both scenes that you heard it. So I don't know if this is going to transform to change where I'm like, oh yeah, that's the, you know, the other scene that I heard, but maybe there was two versions of this on the soundtrack. I'll have to check that. Anyway, uh, beautiful so far. Let's keep going.
like I'm not saying much during this, but I'm enjoying it, man. classic Chelsea Wolf um, with some different elements too which we kind of already touched on but um, Chelsea Wolf we oui, we oui, Marie oh man you know that mid I think it was the mid part absolutely love the way the vocals were being delivered there let me see if I can about this so that I didn't already say um, we already talked about it being a haunting song beautiful guitar work is you know extremely simple in this but effective and I, I know I said I don't know the exact settings that they have it set to as far as the engineering but I think I got it figured out and I think she kind of uses this kind of uh, effect setting um, or these settings on her, whenever she has acoustic in songs it's like the bass is turned all the way up the mids are turned all the way down, and then treble is kind of like close to being all the way up. So it's very easy to hear like uh, the bassiness of it, as well as hearing like uh, you can hear the when she's uh, hitting the strings uh, strings with her pick. And uh, particularly in this song, what's cool is that uh, it almost is like a percussion element uh, when she's strumming, because it you get so clear and trebly but also bassy so it's almost like you know you don't need a bass guitar because the guitar is already so bassy you don't really need percussion because um that is being substituted by the uh her plucking the strings with a pick um yeah i mean just yeah that's such a chug to it all done with a pick so you don't really need percussion in this song either and it feels full still you know um, even though there's only <laughs> two instruments I mean her voice her vocals and then the guitar and there were some moments where there was some uh, harmony vocal harmonies going on that was beautiful um, near the end of this song I kind of touched on it a little bit but you start hearing this whirling it's not really wind. It sounds just like someone's whispering and it's like going around you in 360. But uh, it's like a bunch of spirits are swirling around you. Um, I actually have more insight to say about this song and, and the choice of it. But I don't want to spoil the movie for anyone who hasn't seen it. But let me try to work my way around any spoilers. Um, this is a very fitting song for the film. Not just uh, her rendition of this. But also the um, the theme of it and the in the lyrical contents um, about uh, someone meeting a woman uh, during a time of war uh, because it has something to kind of do with the movie. But um, aside from that, just the, uh, the the tone of this, the hauntingness of it, um, also fits uh, some of the things in the movie, the theme of that, and the setting, and and some of the characters as well. So uh, she really, uh, she really, you know, took her time in finding a song like this first off to cover that would fit the, the film well. 
and then uh, she went a step above that and turned it into something that completely uh, is ingrained into the film's DNA and fits. Um, now, when I said that, I thought I was wondering if there's going to be a part where the song completely changes uh, because I heard two versions of this in the, the movie, parts of it anyway. I'm, a, I'm assuming the other version I heard was maybe the original that she was covering and without her putting her spin on things because the other version, it didn't sound as haunting as this, but it was clearly her singing. So I'm thinking the other version was her just covering how the music uh, originally was. Uh, I could be wrong, but you know, all I know is there was another version of this that she did and it wasn't part of this song. So yeah, I guess I'll have to dig into the soundtrack. But um, yeah, without further ado, guys, this was a great listen. Uh, haunting song. I really love that midpoint here, the way she was delivering her vocals there. And um, definitely uh, worth checking out the whole soundtrack as well as the movie. I, I definitely recommend the movie and I'll be posting the, uh, I finally finished editing it, so I'll have that uh, uploaded soon. But anyway, guys, uh, if you're still here in the video, thanks for taking the time out of your day uh, to hang out with me, enjoy some beautiful music with me from uh, Chelsea. And if you have any other songs of hers you want me to check out or any other artists, please put them in the comments below and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.